What's your glitch in the matrix story? Redditor 1, I have a fairly unique face. Big chin that's kind of crooked and sleepy eyes think Mike from Breaking Bad Eyes. I also have blonde hair with streaks of white in it. In the 90s I grew it long. So, fairly unusual look all around particularly since the area I lived in was majority black. I was waiting to cross the street and across the street there was this guy that looked a lot like me, down to what I was wearing. We're just kind of staring at each other. As we cross, we both slow down and actually come to a full stop to just, stare at each other. We didn't just look a lot alike. We were fucking identical. I may have imagined it but I think he even had the same scar on his eyebrow. The light changed, cars honked and we both scurried across in opposite directions. We both looked back and then kept going. Still kind of freaks me out. Redditor 2, had a cat I rescued from the shelter. Living with two other guys in a house that did not allow pets. Cat got out and ran away. Two years later I was at the shelter looking for another rescue cat. I recognize Yoko my cat from two years ago. She answered to her name and jumped into my arms when she saw me. Rescued the same cat twice. Redditor 3, years ago, some friends were staying at my house for a while. Anyway, I wake up one morning, make coffee and go to make toast, but the toaster isn't where it's always been. I figure one of the friends moved it so I check the cabinets. Every single cabinet. Check the pantry, even all of the appliances the stove, microwave, refrigerator, dishwasher. Then checked everywhere a second time. Toaster has vanished. One of the friends comes downstairs. I ask if he's seen the toaster. He goes through the same routine, checking everywhere. No toaster. His wife comes downstairs. Same routine. Still no toaster. We're all still in the kitchen, talking about how the freaking toaster just disappeared. I open the pantry to get something else. There's the toaster front and center, at a level. We had looked there at least six times. None of us had left the kitchen at any point and nobody else entered it. Friend takes the toaster out of the cabinet, grabs a large knife out of the drawer, cuts the cord off the toaster and tosses it out. I bought a new toaster that afternoon. Didn't want to use a haunted toaster, Redditor for getting money out of an ATM. Put my card in, entered my pin and the chose the amount of money I wanted. I was waiting about 5 minutes for my card and money to come out when nothing did. Starting freaking out trying to call the bank when I looked in my wallet my card exactly where it was before I took it out but with no money in my wallet. Weirdest experience ever. Girlfriend was there too and also saw me put my card in the machine and enter my pin etc. Redditor 5, I think I have told this story before. A couple of years ago my parents, sister and I went to a cousin's wedding in Granada 5 hours away from my hometown. We stayed the night. We headed back home next morning around 11 a.m. We were gossiping about some drama that happened on the wedding. I was having cake for breakfast. Suddenly my sister goes, is that Cerro Negro? A volcano visible from Leon, my hometown. That was impossible because we have just hit the road like 20 minutes ago. Then we saw all the welcome to Leon billboards. There is no way we drive for five hours without noticing. The drama was not tad interesting and a cake wouldn't have last 5 hours in my hands untouched. Besides between Leon and Granada there is Exolotl Lake and Managua Managua is the capital city both extremely hard to miss. We double checked the clock and our cell phones, it was 11.20. Redditor 6, once upon a time I worked at a pizza shop and had to wash dishes at the end of the day. I was in the back, sweeping the floor, while a faucet poured water into a big, commercial three-hole sink. This faucet was super duper loud. Someone came back to talk to me and I couldn't hear them over the roaring faucet. Without thinking about it consciously, from way across the room, I extended my hand and kind of made a squeezing motion and the fucking faucet turned off. The guy trying to talk to me went pale and left the room, and it was never spoken of again. I still don't know what he wanted and I've never been able to reproduce this moment of telekinesis or whatever it was. Redditor 7, when I am was 8 and my sister was 12 my parents got us both parakeets for Christmas. Terrible loud as heck gift what were they thinking I had a yellow one I named Sunny and my sister had a blue one named Skylar. They were the first pets we had that were exclusively ours, and we played with them every day for about 3 months, 
We taught them a couple tricks like to fly and perch on our fingers and follow our other finger around side to side. Made them look like they were dancing I think. Anyway, my burb Sonny was in a freak accident and eventually died of his injuries, I was heartbroken rip fam. A few months later my dad's job gets transferred to a city three hours away. My sister was told she needed to release Skylar to the wild aka suburbs cause she wasn't going to move with the family. So in a tearful ceremony we opened Skylar's cage and that bird bolted out of there flew over the neighbor's house to be gone forever. So we thought, flash forward almost five years later living in a new city having completely forgotten about the birds. My family goes camping to a state park just outside of town for a week. During our little family trip to this beautiful corner of Texas me and my sister decide to go play on the jungle gym and while we are sitting on the top a light blue parakeet identical to Skylar comes flying down and lands right next to us on the jungle gym letting out a friendly chirp. Me and my sister both froze and looked at each other and back at the bird and slowly say. Skylar? The bird lets out another friendly chirp and I decide that this is definitely Skylar. I stick out my finger next to her and she jumps on my finger just like we had taught her almost 5-1-2 years before. And I start to move my finger on my other hand side to side and she starts swaying. Just like we taught her, me and my sister lose our shit our long lost bird had found us. We say we have to take her back home and the bird lets out another little chirp and flies away. We couldn't shut up about it for weeks after. Redditor 8 an older woman at a grocery store left the lights on her car and the battery died. I saw her trying to get it started. I went over and asked her if she needed help. She said she wasn't sure what was wrong. I looked and said the battery was dead but I have cables and can help her. I gave the car a jump and she was good to go. She thanked me and left. I went into the store and came back out and there was another older woman in the same make model and color of her car parked a row over with a car that wouldn't start. I was sure it was her and walked over and asked what happened now. The woman looks at me confused and said we've never met before. It was a different woman. I thought I was going insane. Her issue was with the starter. Rocked the car a bit and it started. Redditor 9, this is so incredibly benign that it's barely worth mentioning, but it's both the insignificance of the lost item, and the possibility that maybe that for an incredibly brief second I had a Douglas Adams-esque wormhole open up near me that makes it memorable. I dropped a stamp the other day. I watched it as it fell to the floor, I did not take my eyes off it at all, I didn't blink or look away. Just before it touched the ground it completely vanished. I checked under the desk I checked under the chair I moved the desk for a more thorough check I flipped the chair over to examine the bottom I checked inside both my shoes I checked inside my socks I took the drawers out of the desk and searched them. It had fallen so straight and so gradually that there ought to have been no way to miss it. The void claimed a stamp. Redditor 10, I have this very distinct and vivid memory of my childhood. When I was four, I climbed the fridge to get to the top, because that's where the candy was hidden. When I got to the top, I reached up with one hand to grab the candy box but couldn't hold on with the other and fell, hitting the back of my head. I had to get stitches and there is still a bald spot from the impact. The problem is, this story never happened. The real story of the scar is that I was walking down the stairs, slipped and hit the back of my head that way. From the age of 4 until 26, I never mentioned it or ever talked about it with my family. Then one day the conversation came up randomly and I got to tell the story of the fridge climb to my parents they said that never happened, and the real story was the stair fall. I have zero recollection of the stair fall and I can still visualize the fridge climb. I gave up after a while of trying to convince my parents of my version because they said they literally saw the stair fall and subsequent visit to hospital etc. And I didn't want to sound crazy. To this day I don't know how the duck this is possible. Either something from that fall loosened something inside my mind and implanted a new story, or there was an actual glitch in the matrix and I lived parallel universes at the same time in that one moment. Both options seem likely to me. Redditor 11, I remember the crash. My dad was T-boned in his green Nissan it was emerald green, I love the color. Which rode off the car. I remember telling the police all about it at the scene. I remember my parents telling me to tell the doctors that my neck and chest hurt even though they didn't. I remember having a week off of school which was fun. 
I remember my dad berating the insurance company over the phone. So a few years ago, when my dad bragged about how he had never been in an accident I took the smug pleasure of correcting him and telling reminding everyone about the accident. Only everybody looked at me like I was going crazy. According to everybody in my family, my dad has never had a Nissan and that he would never have or drive a green colored car because he thinks they are unlucky. I've pushed it, insisted it, told my family everything I remember and they all say exactly the same thing as above. Redditor 12, walked into a convenience store and was greeted by a worker with a hi how you doing? I replied fine went to the soda aisle and was greeted by the same women hi how you doing? Me being a little weirded out how this woman could have ran around the aisle to beat me there. Grab my soda and head to the checkout and the lady is behind the fucking counter. I was very high and this was freaking me out. Then her sister came behind the counter. They were twins working in the store and I'm laughing the whole time I'm checking out. Redditor 14, fiancé and I moved to a new apartment in January. After we unpacked the kitchen stuff I realized I couldn't find one of the pot's lids. Complained about it. Complained about it off and on for the next 10 months until I found it last month in a drawer I use nearly every time I cook. It was maddening. Redditor 15, not my story, but my dad's. He was fishing with some friends and when they came back to where the car was parked, discovered that someone had came and stolen gas from the cars parked there. My dad and his friends walked into town to get gas. They came back to the car, filled up and left. A few days later my dad drove by where the gas station was. There was nothing there. No building, just a fence surrounding a lot full of weeds that could not possibly have grown that high and thick in a few days. Redditor 16 I was walking down a semi-crowded sidewalk. A good amount of people, but not too many, you know? Anyways, point is, this woman in front of me tripped and stumbled a bit, sending her phone into the air and onto the ground. I saw and heard this phone hit the ground, saw it shatter, and then I blinked, and it was back in her hand, perfectly fine. She was walking like nothing happened. Redditor 17, True story that still scares the shit out of me for reasons I don't understand. I was 15 at the time. Had a dream where I went to this arcade I'd normally frequently go. I was with my buddy, and before walking outside to wait for our ride we both buy sodas to go. We're squatting outside on the curb holding our drinks, looking into the parking lot. I finish my drink and for no reason I start putting my hand in my soda cup and continually throw ice out of the cup onto the ground. I pause for a second, and say softly to myself ha. Huh? Did you vu is even in my dream I was thinking I'd seen this somewhere before. I then lift my head up, look left, and see two kids with skateboards riding, and then I wake up. About 10 days later, I'm at the arcade again with my same buddy. Before walking out to wait for our ride we both buy sodas. We go outside and sit on the curb in the same spot in my dream. I finish mine and again I start repeatedly throwing ice out of the cup. I pause, and say softly to myself, ha. Huh. Deja vu. I freeze in pure terror. Realizing I was repeating the same actions in my dream, and recognizing that the deja vu I had in my dream, was only deja vu because it's now happening 10 days later. I slowly crank my head to the left because I heard some noise, and to my further shock I see two kids walking towards me with skateboards in their hands. I sprung to my feet and started flipping out with my buddy still sitting, confused and asking me what was wrong. For what it's worth. Purchasing a soda while leaving and throwing ice out of my cup aren't normal rituals. In fact it was the first time I could remember doing either of those two things. Redditor 18, I was wrapping Christmas presents at our dining room table. I used scissors to cut the wrapping paper. I set the scissors down on the table, finished some final taping on the present, then carried the present over to the tree. When I returned to the table 30 seconds later, the scissors were gone. I'm known for losing things right in front of my face, so I called my wife into the room to help me look. I assumed she would find them in a few seconds and laugh at me, but not this time. We looked everywhere, including emptying the trash can just in case I accidentally threw them away while tossing away scraps of wrapping paper. After quite a bit of a searching, we both gave up and said well they'll turn up eventually. We witnessed the presents being opened a few weeks later and the scissors didn't wind up wrapped along with the present, so we ruled that out. 
We moved four years later and those damn scissors never turned up. Our running joke was gnomes took them. Now whenever anything is lost, we chuckle damn gnomes. Redditor19, had a dream I was sitting down for a pancake breakfast and the waiter asked if I wanted milk or OJ. Three weeks later, at the same restaurant from my dream had never been there before had the same waiter who I had never seen before asked me if I wanted milk or OJ. Redditor20, I've posted about this experience a few times now, about two years ago I was driving up a short hill in the overtaking lane. I was attempting to overtake a particularly slow car. I was going far too fast, I absolutely knew this but was somehow fine with it. Then I had a burst of adrenaline and decided to accelerate even harder to overtake the car, before the overtaking lane merged back into one lane. Sometimes I don't think I was successful. I think after I crested the hill I was too abreast in the now single lane. A truck was in the opposite lane starting to come up to the hill and I think I hit it at the right hand side the truck driver's left side straight on, at considerable speed. I remember looking at the truck and thinking I'm going to hit it but feeling that that's okay, everything is going to be fine. I think I saw the front of the truck hit and crumple the left side of my car, saw it come right up to my face then, for a second, nothing but black. A moment later I was parked by a small factory type building about half a mile down the road. I remember my skin feeling prickly and tingly and I felt the adrenaline whoosh out of my body. I cut my journey short and just went home. Now, on occasion things just feel left of center, the world just feels a little more gray and cold and I mean that literally and figuratively. My family and friends seem absolutely the same and I'm very happy in my life but some things in the world just seem off. This seems absolutely ridiculous to say but sometimes I'll be in a place and I'll get an odd, uncomfortable feeling and then the place seems to flash to warmth and sunlight and happiness, it then goes back to this slightly off, grayer place. I see the same physical place but for a while it seems much more beautiful. I'll read an article or listen to the radio and I'll think that that's not how it's supposed to be, so I'll google it and sure enough I was wrong. It's not all the time and it doesn't worry me, as I said my personal life is the same and I'm happy, it's the outside world that sometimes feels so off and so wrong. Redditor21, when I was in the university, I rented a larger apartment with three friends. One night. I saw this super vivid dream, which I remembered after waking up completely and in high detail. It was about our friends, who had married recently, and were on a honeymoon at that time. I explained the dream, including all the small details, to my roommate. The dream was an exchange in our living room, where the newlywed wife of my friend was reading today's newspaper, while we guys five of us discussed other stuff. She suddenly raised her head from the paper and asked if we had today's paper. I responded by laughing and asking if she was having so much fun at her honeymoon that she lost the track of time. Two weeks later, the couple half returned, and were visiting us. At some point of the evening we sat down to the sofa group, exactly to the same seats where I saw us in the dream. I didn't remember my dream at that moment. A few minutes later, she started reading the paper while we talked. Then the situation started to escalate. The memory came back big time. She raised her head from the paper asking for today's paper and I lost control of my own actions. In complete shock, I realized I could not do anything else than laugh and say those exact words my dream had me saying. At this point, my friend who I explained the dream to earlier had gone completely white on his face. I was sweating and gasping air after exiting the robot mode, and everyone around the table was looking at us. The rest of the night we discussed if time is a roamable dimension after all, and if there are wormholes through the multiverse to other points of time. That was my glitch in the matrix. Redditor22, three years into high school, sat at the same benches as always, I look up into the courtyard and go, huh, is that tree new? One lone tree, apparently had been there the whole time but I just didn't see it for three years. Redditor23, I threw a rock at a window and it smashed but then a few minutes later the window wasn't smashed. Redditor24, this happened about a month ago. I took a bowl of leftover pasta out of the refrigerator and set it on the counter. I turned to get some bread and when I turned back it was not there. I am 100% sure that I had the bowl in my hands at one point. I looked for at least 15 minutes for it, all over the house. I remember looking for it in the sink. I thought I was losing it. 
I called my wife and left several messages. When she got home from class I told her about it and she said that she had it for lunch. And there the bowl was in the sink. It still bothers me to think about it. Redditor 25, my fiancé's fish jumped out of its tank. Never seen again, not even the corpse. They don't have any other animal and the floor was clear. Redditor 26, when I was between junior and senior year of college I did a study abroad program in England through my university. Before this trip, I decided to do some solo traveling. My first stop was Amsterdam. I landed at Schiphol, got off the plane, grabbed my bags, and headed to the ground transportation area. To be honest, I had no idea how to get to my hostel, although I had the address no cell phone service. Walking around the train station, I finally hear a group of people speaking English. Turns out it is a group of seven Scots on vacation, who had also just landed and were headed into the city. I casually asked them if they knew how to get to the neighborhood of my hostel. Follow us. They said turns out they were heading to the same neighborhood. How convenient. We get on the train, go a few stops, transfer, and get on another train. After we get off at the final stop, I am able to locate my hostel on the map. I tell them thanks and head on my way to the hostel. Turns out we are walking in the same direction. After a few coincidental direction changes, we realize we are staying at the same hostel. We get to the hostel and get checked in. Turns out the rooms hold 8 people 4 bunk beds. Not only were we in the same hostel, but I was the 8th person in their shared room. None of us could believe it but kind of just laughed it off. They welcomed me into their group and we had a fun couple days. Looking back on it, it almost seems too coincidental. Redditor 29 my friend and I were once outside his house while he changed his girlfriend's car battery. It was after dark and it was super foggy out that night. We were just talking when suddenly a white light flashed from everywhere for a split second. We looked around to see what could have caused it but didn't see anything. None of the neighbor's lights were on, no cars were nearby, nothing. To this day, we remain convinced that a Terminator went back in time to his neighborhood. Redditor 30 one day I'm hanging out with my brother and his wife. As we're chatting, we mention Gauntlet, Legends and wife says what's that? Both my brother and I respond the exact same sentence with perfectly matched intonation and voice tone. We said, oh it's a. We glance at each other and then say a gam. We collectively shit a brick at how we even match the drawn out way of saying game. Even the glance was like we had rehearsed it. We can chalk it up brothers spending lots of time together. Redditor 31, I was waiting for my son's football match to start so I went to get a coffee. There was two people serving. One was a lady who was bending down sorting out stuff under the counter and a bloke standing up. He looks at me and asks what you having mate. I reply black coffee please no problem he says sugar. Two please mate I say the lady stands up and nods at me as if to say hello. I nod back and turn around to see if my lad's game has started. When I turn my attention back to the coffee stand they are back in the same position. What you having mate? He says again. Er, black coffee I say no problem, sugar? Er, to the lady straightens and nods at me. It was so weird that I felt off for the rest of the day. I regret not saying didn't we just do this. But for whatever reason I just wandered off. Redditor 32, I once deja vu'd so hard that I predicted what the person talking to me would say. Redditor 33, this might be a little different but here we go. I was at a Cub Scout day camp where we did fun activities AP day, go home to sleep, and the repeat for several days I don't remember how long. One of these activities was archery. Now if you've ever been in an archery range, you know that you need to follow the range master's commands or else you'd be kicked out of a range. Now as a fidgety 10 year old, I got bored and started to screw with what I could. We were at the point where we could hold our bows but not grab an arrow. So, I decide to mime shooting an arrow. I neither had an arrow nor even pulled back the strong of the bow, but when I let go of the string a balloon pin to my archery target popped. I panicked because the pop made a huge sound and the 60-something range master walked over to me and asked if I fired an arrow, which I didn't. Still have no idea how that balloon popped in perfect timing to my mime shot. TL. Doctor I pretended to shoot a bow and arrow and a balloon in front of me popped. Redditor 34, I remember once I had to be up at 7.20 to get ready to do something. 
I woke up, saw it was 20 past. I showered, brushed my teeth, dressed, had breakfast, got my stuff together and had a bit of spare time so had a read. Then I noticed it was really, really quiet and still quite dark. I had woken at 12.20. I had only slept for 20 minutes this was truly bizarre. I had no choice but to go back to bed. Then I woke at 8, late for my appointment, Redditor 35, I've been waiting a while for this thread. I live by an abandoned racetrack. It is shaped like a classic oval with two long stretches and the typical turns one for. Me and two of my friends decided that it would be cool to go check out the racetrack and, being that it was not on our property, we waited till about 1am to head out there. I had first looked at the racetrack on Google Maps to check out the shape and entrance location. We entered on the south side stretch and proceeded to walk on the track counterclockwise. If you looked at the image on the second turn, top right northeast corner of the image, you can see graffiti on the track. This is a quite well done spray painted graffiti image of a punk tune duck head. We thought this was cool and decided to sit down and talk by it for a bit. After resting for a minute we kept walking and followed the north stretch until the next curve. We made our walk around turn 3 and then we saw the same spray painted graffiti image on the ground at turn 4, bottom right southwest corner of the map image. This is when the glitch in the matrix happened. One of my friends accidentally left his energy drink next to the graffiti on turn 2 and the same can was left at the graffiti of turn 4. This had to be the same graffiti spot we were at before. We were not too tired to have forgotten where we were and it is very obvious as there are two separate long stretches one north and one south and we had only walked one straight stretch after leaving turn 2 graffiti. We headed back home and checked the map again to make sure the graffiti was not duplicated on turn 4 and you can clearly see in the image there is no spray painted image in the bottom left corner. To this day we still don't know how all three of us agreed on our location and how we would have missed a full section of racetrack. Redditor 36, well a girl in my high school class that sits next to me suddenly changed skin color one day black to brown and I was like oh guess she moved in everyone is calling her the same name and I'm like wow what a coincidence but she also has the same last name so. Redditor 37, streetlights. True story myself and my wife counted it in the span of one month, I had at least two street lights per night go out while I passed under them. At one point we had a string of eight lights go out in a row as I passed under each one. After that month it was May I Haven had a light go out since. Redditor 38, my grandmother said to me one day did you see that thing on the news about that man being murdered in a sleepy town where nothing happens near our home. I hadn't so I asked her more questions, and she told me he was in his 70s and he was found with head injuries and a man in his 20s had been arrested. I checked the news later that day and didn't see anything about it. Then a week later it happened. Not long after she told me about a cruise ship sinking a week later Costa Concordia. She tells me things in TV shows before they're on and talks about plane crashes and earthquakes and stuff before they happen too. The recurring theme is that they're all things she says she's seen on TV. Redditor 39, the picture of my granddad blinked an eye to me. I know it is impossible but it did it. Redditor 40, one day back when I was in third grade, I took a break from my usual lunchtime activities, which mainly included either digging in the sand or getting up to inadvisable mischief, to watch a few of my friends attempt to play basketball. The sport didn't really interest me, but I'd had the idea that I could hang out on the sidelines and provide amusing commentary to the other people who were eating their lunch there, so I sat down at where I thought the best vantage point would be and just started running my mouth off. For the first several minutes, everything progressed about as one would expect, my friends managed to score a few points, I prompted a few laughs and a few shouts of shut up, and the game continued with as much action and fervor as a group of 8 year olds could manage. Then, as one of the kids lobbed a shot toward the basket, something very strange happened. The ball arced through the air, hit against the rim, and froze. Not only that, but everything froze. Each of the students, every piece of windblown trash, and even every sound just stopped. It was like being inside an eerily accurate gallery of statues. A second or two passed before I realized that I was rambling at a completely stationary world. And as soon as I did, the passage of time righted itself. The world resumed from precisely the same second when it had frozen, 
with everything and everyone continuing as though nothing had happened. Now, the logical conclusion is that I had a mild seizure or something, and that my brain just filled in gaps after I recovered. The thing is, though, I can remember talking during the moment of stillness, slowly realizing that something was wrong, then feeling my heart pound with the beginnings of panic. I wasn't trapped in that motionless world for very long, I'll grant you, and there's probably a perfectly reasonable explanation. But even so, part of me still feels like I experienced a glitch in reality. Apparently the planet needs more RAM. Redditor 41, about two years ago I was driving down I-5 heading south I live in Washington. There was the usual moderate to light church traffic as it was about 8 a.m. on a Sunday morning. At the time I was driving an absolute beater that turns heads with the sounds it makes when starting, so I was driving 60 miles per hour in the right-hand lane. I've always been into cars, so I was mildly interested when a black Lexus hatchback passed by me going about 10-15 miles per hour faster than I was. As someone who was into cars, I logged the vehicle in my head as having nice aftermarket rims, and studied it lustfully as it slowly got farther and farther out of view. About 30 seconds later another identical black Lexus hatchback with the same rims drove by at the same speed as the first one, this definitely caught my attention and was a mild WTF moment. As I watched the tail end of the seemingly identical vehicle overtake me I noticed a bumper sticker next to the license plate that in clear white and black bold lettering said the matrix. Made the hair on the back of my neck stand up and I told myself out loud don't ever forget this. Not a super crazy experience but definitely a wild coincidence at least. Redditor 42, I watched the Avengers a few years before it was released, specifically the 1998 movie with Sean Connery not the Marvel one. I still remember my surprise when seeing this movie on the new release shelf at the rental place in the grocery store. I knew I had watched it a while ago, so I figured they were just misplaced, until I checked the date on the back of the case and saw it was for the current year. I had my mom check it out, as I just had to know. I wasn't sure it was the same movie until I saw people in colored bear suits at a conference table. I have no idea how this happened, but my younger brother also remembered watching it too. Redditor 43, I had just put my drill down and it suddenly wasn't there. I knew for a fact that I hadn't moved so I put my hand out and touched it whereupon it just appeared. I am sure there is some scientific reason for this but frack me, it bothered me for quite a while. Redditor 44, me and my parents were looking for the car in a shopping mall parking lot. We just left the late night movie session, so it's quite empty because the mall is closed. We left the car in the 6th floor, so we go to the elevator and press 6. The doors open and we're on the 5th floor, we walk back inside and press 6 again. Doors open and we're on the 7th. Okay Therese probably some issue with the elevator, we look for another one, same thing happens. We try another one and Therese no number 6. Okay let's take the stairs, Therese no door for the 6th floor. So after about 40 minutes wandering around thinking we entered a wormhole and are stuck in a fucking parking lot we suddenly end up on the 6th floor and find the car. Redditor 45, saw a guy literally vanish while staring directly at him in an open area. Redditor 46, I was like 10 at some sports camp thing and the game was the coach guy hit a tennis ball way on the air and we had to catch it. I am not athletic like that, the sun was bright and frankly didn't want to be there. It was boring but he hit the ball towards me. But I didn't look up because duck son. I did the ridiculous cartoon run in circles thing you see in baseball episodes. Then held my glove out, still not looking up. Ball landed in my glove. I only knew the vague direction. It was a one in a million catch. And all for that I got to not play the game until the next round just was once you catch one you get to sit down on the bench until next round or whatever. Redditor 47, I swear I saw the tree above my car glitch and the leaf textures reload. Like how in games the trees go to high res as you get closer. Redditor 48, I was in the office during my lunch break at my old job and was busy on the computer doing a task that was taking up most of my attention. My colleague and his cubicles were in a corner directly opposite our manager's office, and we were the only ones in the office finishing up this task while everyone was out to lunch. We both distinctly remember our manager walking out of his office and going past us to leave for lunch. We are concentrating on what we are doing so we barely look up, 
but say goodbye when he goes by. Maybe 10 minutes later, our manager walks out of his office again to leave for lunch. We were stunned. There were no other entries into his office and there was no way he could gone back into his office without walking by our cubicles and us seeing him. Redditor 49, when I was younger, I was at my neighbor's house playing on the Wii they had just gotten for Christmas and we were recording our experience for some reason. We were in their bedroom and on the wall right of the TV is a closet with a sliding door. Well at one point in the video moved to the closet for a second or two, probably when my neighbor was paying more attention to the TV than to recording. For a very brief second a magazine pops out of the closet and then shoots back in. We didn't realize this happened until we rewatched the video a little while later and we all thought this was strange so we tore the closet apart looking for anything that could have been even mistaken for a magazine and found nothing. Mind you, no one had gone in or out of the room or closet. A few days later we were looking for the video to show our parents because they didn't believe us and it had been deleted off of the phone or iPod or whatever we were using. All the other videos were there but that specific one was deleted. It was freaky. TL, DR, filmed a video of a disappearing magazine and then video is mysteriously deleted. Redditor 50, logged into my online banking, one of those letter 4 comma 7, and 8 from your password kind of deals. Did some banking, accidentally let it time out. Tried to log in again and it wouldn't let me, Eventually realized I've been using the wrong password all along the universe just conspired for it to have the same letters at the appropriate location. 